Hi everyone, this is your July monthly general inspirational tarot reading from yours truly, Sarita Daly. Thank you for joining me. I'd like to tell you also to enjoy your 4th of July if you celebrate that. And also to enjoy your full moon that's coming up. And then there will be also on my website a discovery session that you can schedule with me. So check it out. Go to naturallyhighlife.com. And when you go there on the very first page, you can look at the top tabs. It'll say create your naturally high life. If you'd like to work with me and schedule a free introductory session with me, then go there so that I can, you know, assist and speak with you. I look forward to working with you and also sign up for the newsletter. And thank you all each month for listening. But also, do not forget to listen to your sun, moon, or rising sign. You can find it out online for free if you don't know what your rising sign or your moon sign is. Your sun sign is just your birthday. That astrology sign for that time. So everybody pretty much knows what that one is. But if you're looking for your rising or your moon signs, that'll give you even more dimension and more depth into your reading. And if this particular reading doesn't resonate with you that you're listening to right now, then you can either listen to another one or you can find out your moon, sun, or rising sign or just go there if you know it. I always hope that these are extremely helpful to you and you know that's about it i do appreciate you and like i said before like subscribe and share thanks for your support peace love and vibrance this summer or whatever season it is for you on your side of the world let's get started sagittarius your monthly reading for july starts off with some insight that came through while I was handling your cards and laying out your spread. And the message that came through was very clear and it said for you to watch who you surround yourself with and to make sure you surround yourself with people who have successful things going on with them as you are working on for yourself. Because what happens and what has probably been happening perhaps is people being jealous the word jealousy and jealous and things like that came up while I was handling your cards and I didn't even look at the cards yet so there could be some people that are in your midst that are jealous of you and how things are unfolding for you in your life as you share with them they could be envious and things like that now that's not the case all the time with people but if you are around people that some people can have other things going on that are different than you and they'll be inspired by what you share then you have some who can be upset because they're upset with their life overall and it has nothing to do with you anyway right so the first card position for you and the first card is the page of pentacles it's in the what to know position and it has to do with the insight that started off with your card reading but it also has to do with the fact that you're learning a new skill and the lessons that are coming forth from you learning this new skill are for you to stick to them because they're going to bring forth a triumphant experience, experience as far as your finances is concerned it's going to have a great effect on them monetarily for you in the very near future if not right now in the immediate future I do see this month being a very beautiful month for you and one that's going to be very positive as your nature can be whether you're a Sun moon or rising sign Sag things just typically roll off your back and off your shoulders you know so in the next position 
is in the finances position you got the knight of swords and the knight of swords it shows that the way that you've changed your thoughts your mindset about the way that you make money the way that you're going to be making money and how you go about practicing it and learning your new skill and harnessing it really caring for it and looking at it as something that is going to really do you well it's going to do just that the Knight of Swords is someone who's confident about the way they deliver their communication, their messages, their and ideas are just jumping up. It's a very high month for you as far as the way that you take in information and the way you take action on them. Now there is a bit of, I see, hopes and fears here when it comes to the next card position because we've got the strength card here and the message here is saying to be mindful to go ahead and go forth with this thing that you may fear anyway because it's gonna make you this money go ahead and do it practice makes perfect or practice makes you very skillful practice is going to give you that confidence that you need to really do well but if you don't try you won't get there this is something that you've been looking at I feel for a long time maybe even 10 years you've looked at this you watch people doing really well with it and you're like I think I can do that I think I can do this and maybe things weren't laid out right for you then to be able to do it I feel like the stars and things are going to align for you now for you to jump into something that you want to do but it has to do also with partnering with others it has to do with that it has to do with especially for you entrepreneurs definitely see the entrepreneurial spirit in here with the page of pentacles here and it's telling you to do not back down go for it and if you feel like you're wavering a little bit like, I don't really feel like I'm going to want to do this. And maybe I'm only motivated by money. But guess what? That's enough right now. Because it looks like you could use money. It looks like somebody in this reading could use some money and could use some finances. And so go ahead and go for it. Grab it and go. You will be meeting with some powerful people perhaps to talk about how you can assist them and how they can assist you share your triumphs with some people I see you talking and sharing with some people but I see you kind of holding back how much you share because you understand that in the past people may have been you picked up with your foresight Sages have some good foresight with that Jupiter ruling Sag and um, or the planet Jupiter ruling Sag and so with that foresight you can kind of feel like it wouldn't be a good idea to just go in and share everything so what you fear could possibly happen I see you just going forward just go go through that go ahead and be you know dig into the things you recently just learned the information you just got go ahead and devour it go into it you don't have to go and hold back any longer because the formula is there. I feel like you've seen the success. You've laid your eyes on it. And you also, we'll go into the next card. The next card position is in the position of outcome. And this is the Nine of Pentacles card. And don't get it confused with your final outcome card. I still have four more cards to go. And then I still have your final outcome card to do. But we have the Nine of Pentacles here. This person, they are admiring they are admiring the wonderful things that they have been able to bring together on the physical realm they're dressed to impress they are allowing their outside to show their success in and out I feel like you are going to really conquer your fears your apprehension of what, of what whatever has held you back from really breaking free of limiting things that you thought may have thought that couldn't work for you I feel like you're gonna just go through that because when you have a number nine that is definitely at a stage and at a level where you've accomplished a good bit 
So that's the outcome card. That's the outcome of what you want to know. The outcome of finances. The outcome of your hopes and fears. So you're going to do well. You're going to end up being positive, And it's going to be easy for you to do it. There are no reverse cards in this reading either. So except for one, the final outcome card is reversed. But less obstruction throughout the month for you. Okay. So for you to tap into a certain energy that you need in order to get things done it'll be it won't be so challenging to do that it's never impossible but it won't be so challenging but just you're being reminded with the number nine of pentacles to appreciate what you have and what you've already done but also that there will be more to be added to it pentacles have to do with abundance resources values looking at what it is that you value what you want to see more of in your life and I see you want to have plenty of beautiful things you want them to be neatly organized and you want to have fun and you want to be able to show your success because you've held back perhaps for a long time while you learn certain things and now you're seeing for stability to take place certain things that you should have in place if you and so your ideology however you saw success it may have matured it may have changed and shifted and whatever that looks like for you now you seem to be very happy and delighted to go forth and to accomplish you know I see a lot of ambition there with this next card which is structure that's the next position the page of swords is there the way that you think your mindset hey lessons have come in at this time to help you to restructure your mindset for success a serious breakthrough is here for you especially when you have two pages here that means a whole new foundation is being set up and you're practicing learning a new way of doing things a new way to bring in money, a new way to bring in resources, a new way to tap into resources, a new way to connect to your passion, to what you want, a new way of thinking, a new way of learning. And other people who know more than you, you're going to be very open to what they have to say because you see what is done for them and you know, know that it can do the same for you, if not even better. I see there not even being anyone there with competition. You know, people really want to help you out. They want to help you. They see that you're a beginner. They don't look down at you. They see your potential. And, uh, yeah, the next position, the next card in the next position is the Eight of Pentacles. This person, hey, they're ready to restructure the way their body is looking their health they want to boost it they want to work on it it's like a project you know a special project that they're tweaking I see plenty of exercise eight of pentacles here so far there are two pentacles before that and this is the third one so the way you look your the way you feel about your body image, the way you feel about your self image is going to have an effect on the amount of success that you receive. Okay, that's what this is showing. Some of you are confident no matter what, no matter what you're confident, you're like, hey, this is me, accept me for what I am. And bam, that's it. And no matter what, you're getting what you want you you see it because you're confident you're happy you're free some people have to work on that area a bit much I know I have stuff to work on and most people have things to work on so hey if you have something as far as your self image the way you feel about your body your health at this time or something that's physically impacting you go ahead and take small steps I feel like you've already been doing it for the last few months it's small steps are the way to get there don't don't overdo it you don't have to overdo it don't hurt yourself and um, hey when you you know if it's been years of you doing the same thing then it takes time to chip off and to make it better but it's okay it's happening right now 
I feel like you're already looking at the improvement and looking at something that you can admire and you do enjoy, okay? But it's an abundance of exercise, an abundance of walking, running, whatever. Some type of physical activity and it's going to help you to bring in more of what you want, okay? So there's a significator card here as the next position and the two of cups is there. And it's saying that what you feel to be the case can totally be the be the real reality of what's happening and what's going on. Okay? And to trust your instincts, trust your self, trust the way you feel, your insight. If you're on the fence about love, maybe you want to take a look at it, take a closer look at that situation to see how it will benefit the two of you, you and this other person. You may have some issues with wanting to make a commitment. The other person may have an issue with wanting to be committed as well. They may not be cheating, it may not be anything like that, but just people really like, do I really feel like dealing with it's this other person? Responsibility comes into play when you have a relationship. Relationships and responsibility go hand in hand. Because once you know better, you have to do better. And once you are... Once you've opened yourself up for a, that level of companionship with someone, then I feel like it's important for a conversation to be had. I feel like the conversation is going to be had surrounding what is important to you versus the other person. It's very significant that that conversation happen. And it comes beyond just thinking. It comes beyond just visualizing what that conversation is going to be but actually having a physical talk and conversation and engaging with the other in a very serious way I feel like that's going to happen next position is the ancestor position that's what's there but the high priestess card is actually in that position I feel like you have some serious magical energy working for you spiritual energy spiritual power working for you on your behalf this month it's going to be a whole nother way of looking it, it is a whole nother way of looking at things besides the the magical world and things like that but i feel like and i see that whatever learning that you're doing right now that you're practicing and learning to master you have a great person who is very, very spiritual, but this person knows the hidden ways to tap into success that you may not be able to physically see. And you may not be able to physically see this person either, this ancestor, but they're able to help you listen to them, listen to their guidance, and they're going to help cut some learning curves off for you. And so listen and look for resources that you're going to get certain I mean it's just it's just going to be so so much easier for you now than it used to be to get ahead okay or it's going to be easier now than it has been for the past few years for you to get ahead so this this guy they have some hidden knowledge wisdom for you to share with you you may have to go through some challenges. It's not going to be like there's no work involved at all. No. There's work involved when you have the Eight of Pentacles. But the work that you will be doing with the Nine of Pentacles here, the outcome card shows that you'll be fulfilled by doing this work. And you won't mind it. The last card, which is your final outcome card, is the Balance card. And it is reversed with a number five on it, a one and a four. Balance. And on this card, what we have is we have two people who are upside, I mean, well, they were, they were upside down, but I turned the card right side up. And their faces are side by side. In fact, they're so close to each other, they're merging with the other. What does this card mean for you? What are you merging with at this time? 
What are you falling in love and awe with at this time? What is the universe showing you that is possible for you? What is the potential? What are the potential? What is the potential that you can be great doing this new thing that you're looking at? I really keep saying that it's new because I'm getting these pages here. And pages to me always symbolize something that is new, but is being practiced. And it hasn't, you may not have it yet, you may not own it yet, but you, it's in your reach. You're able to reach out for it. But it's something you're very new at, something you're just learning how to do. And it takes skill, it takes strategy to get through it. It's like um, a bit of an obstacle course, you know, like a puzzle that has to be figured out. But you're definitely able to do this. As far as this relationship thing here, which is what the balance card is showing me on there, it's like, ah, for some people this could have to do with balancing their different polarities within themselves the yang and the yin or the mas masculine and feminine principles within them to balance that and to use those energies in your work. Some of you are working around a lot of men and your women and vice versa. You know, use your talents that you have there in this situation to prod you forward, okay? The universe has some deep messages for you this month to share with you. And blatantly, you should be able, you, you'll be able to get it. This other person who you are falling for, yeah, this other person that you may be falling for definitely cares about you, but they, you may be bringing harmony to a chaotic situation, okay? But that's your reading. That's what I see right now. And I will let you go. Thank you so much for listening to this month's reading. I do appreciate you. The next thing I want to say again is that do make sure you visit naturallyhighlife.com and sign in, opt in, sign up for the newsletter so you can get my updates. I do have a sale which I am going to announce to the people who are signed up to my newsletter specifically. So do sign up for that. Do plan on putting that out, especially for the 4th of July, for those people who are signed up for the newsletter. So if you're looking for some type of, you know, a special for what I offer, this would be a good time. I don't typically offer sales as much as I would have liked to, but I thought about it and I said, you know what? I'd like to do some customer appreciation things. So that's what we're doing. Beyond that, schedule a session with me by going to Naturally High Life doing the discovery session questionnaire. Once you check that out, we can schedule something together and it'll be your choice. Do have a wonderful month. Do let me know how much you like the reading and leave your comments below. I will be responding to you all. Enjoy your busy month and give yourselves a really big hug. And know that everything is going to work out just as it should. And it's going to be all right. So keep your head up. And if it's already up, stay up. All right. Peace, love, and light to you. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. My name's Sarita Daly on there. The same name that you see on YouTube. You can find me that way. I do have, um, if you're wondering about my testimonials, just look at the videos and see how things line up there. I do have some on the website as well, too. That's all. I'll talk to you then. Peace.